Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is a come shot with me around a shopping centre which I've never been to before. So first off, if you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Matt. I have, I don't, well, I say I don't normally look this dishevelled but you tell me I've just come out of the shower, washed my hair and stuff, literally just come out of the shower so ignore my face. Um, but if you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. It's free, no cost to you. If you like to come shop with me at a haul, too good to go bad, grocery haul, vlog, style video sometimes, if that's your jam, then definitely take a moment to subscribe and ring my bell to be, no to be notified when I upload. But as I said, today's video is a come shop with me around a shopping centre I have never been to before. I, it was yesterday. It's Sunday today, this is going to go up on Monday, but Sunday today, yesterday was Saturday, Saturday. Um, I was coming back from a week in Cornwall and I have to go past Bristol to like on the M5 to get on the M4 um, to go back home and I was going past Cribs Causeway. I actually went past it on the way obviously to get there as well and I was like hmm should I go here on the way back because I've never been there before and I've been past it a few times. So I thought on the way back let's go to Cribs Causeway because one it'll be around lunchtime it was 12 o'clock when I got there. Um, around lunchtime when I'd get there and I'd need something to eat and I knew there was like prep and stuff there so I went to prep for lunch and I just had a look around. So yeah let's head on into the come shop with me now. Um, I did go around a few of the stores they've got there as well as just a general overview and yeah I'm obviously filming this after the fact I've been and then afterwards I have got a little haul and then I will do my thoughts on the shopping centre. So let's go. So here we go into the unassuming entrance of Cribs Causeway from the car park. I was thinking it was in car park B, I believe. So went through this entrance, which was by John Lewis. Um, and then this is a general overview of the shops that are available. I feel like it's a bit yummy mummy in terms of you've got brands like Crew, Jaws, Fat Face, White Stuff, White Company, Hobbs, like a bit more premium high street-ish. And I guess it's because Bristol is, I believe, has got some affluent areas and you're kind of on that bit that's going to the West Country area where like Jaws and the White Stuff and Sea Salt and those kind of brand crew and stuff kind of have not prominence but I get you get it's kind of very that vibe isn't it and there is a Ted Baker Kids here which is part of Next um because Next own Ted Baker Kids they don't own normal Ted Baker that's a really nice colour I thought I did nearly pick up something for my nephew in here they had a bit of a sale tiny bit um and I would say it says take Baker Kids but they had like mint velvet and stuff like that in here went for Pret for lunch just very bog standard outside H Beauty and then I went into H Beauty um the only other H Beauty I've been in is the one in Milton Keynes which I'll leave the link to that above um but I would say this one is a tiny bit smaller I believe this is where BHS was and if and there's boots like directly above so I believe BHS was always under here so it couldn't have been very big because this doesn't feel that big to be honest um it's not as big as the Milton Keynes ones I don't think and it hasn't I don't think it had like Dolce & Gabbana, not that you'd want Dolce & Gabbana, but you know, I don't feel it had, was quite as big, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it had obviously all the, u some of the usual stuff, it had the ordinary and it's got fragrance and things and it's also got like a little Harrods gift section which had some good things and I might buy some stuff in the Milton Keynes one. There was a Gromit Unleashed exhibition slash shop that's got a lot of these figurines of Gromit that used to be around different places. Got lots of those in, had Shaun the Sheep section as well and had lots of gifts and stuff in there. I would say there's more online but if you watch the end I did do a pick up a few things um, so watch for a haul at the end. This I really like these they were 20 quid though um for like the original artwork of um the original films or like short film kind of things and they had lots of other kind of knick-knack souvenir merch kind of stuff in here as well um next i went into h&m i would say this is a very small h&m men's section 
not very big at all um, and there wasn't really too much to show you I have got a bigger H&M come shop with me as my next video so definitely subscribe for that I do one of those once a month so definitely subscribe and you can see but as I said you can literally see the extent of the men's section and it's not very big um, I did see a really nice overshirt and this is really nice for win um, autumn as well like a denim jacket that's got the fleece borg lining and that had 20 percent off for uni students at the moment um so other stores as i said like the kurt geiger um the white company hobbs those kind of stores here so a bit more like some like premium high street in terms of like hobbs and things um and well the hmv as well which i've only just noticed um and then you've got like other stuff I could definitely smell last you've got sketches which seems to be everywhere these days tiger um so not very many low-end brands like the lowest end brand I saw was like card factory all good things which is like a retailer that sells other um like premium like Kate Spade and stuff as well I believe it's just a women's wear shop they had super dry which I briefly looked in I haven't been in a super dry store in years I just wanted to see what they had in terms of price point and things are we still looking at the same prices and stuff like that um and then moving on this was um we're looking down towards john lewis now in terms of what they got like fat face tommy hilfiger hugo boss so all of those kind of brands so it's a tiny bit more i'd say more premium than you would get in a regular high street kind of shopping center um and kind of geared towards more the rest country and kind of like fat face and things like that. I know they're around the country, but I get that vibe. I went in crew as well because I do like, I've only got one thing from crew, but I do kind of like their stuff. And they're 25% off sweat shirts and hoodies and things. I love this colour, obviously. Um, and they're all around the £65 and so then take off 70, 75 I wish. 25% off on that. Um... I've never really seen stuff with like the printed logo like this before, so that was quite interesting. Um, at twenty seven pound for a t shirt that you're looking at, I don't think that had twenty five percent off. Um, jacket wise, eighty nine pounds, ninety pounds practically. Rugby shirts, um, we're looking at sixty five again for those. I don't need another rugby shirt and like this weird like it's not a hoodie, but it's a half set with like drawstrings bit weird um next i went into john lewis to see what they had available here four story floors um in this john lewis men's wear is in the basement it took me a while to find it on the actual thing but it was in the basement having a look in here to see what brands they've got um so i would say it's bigger than the one that i've been in recently which is like high wickham um in terms of the brands that they carry and things like they've got ted baker in here because they haven't actually got a ted proper like men's and women's ted baker here they only had the kids one they've got like tommy jeans um and stuff like that really like this kind of jacket 100 quid though um and this bright yellow um t-shirt which was quite nice um and you've also got an any any day area which is like i really like that shirt it's giving me very christmasy vibes but any day is, and all the fleecy kind of stuff as well love um it's any day is john lewis's own brand that's kind of meant to be a bit more budget friendly um they did have a t-shirt in here a while ago that i was really interested in but i didn't get it um i really like that half zip fleece love that um and they've got lots of other things in here as well that shirt again so they don't have an extensive range and if you're looking for a puffer jacket they're 75 pound for those had to look at the fred perry of course i did 95 pound for that really like that obviously this is going to be a bit more expensive um but i do love a bit of fred perry me um yeah lots of polo shirts and stuff not really in the market slash i haven't got the money for those at the moment i swear they've gone up in price I've they used to be around 55 pound that's now 70 um and really like that kind of shirt very great for autumn how much were you 95 um but yes love those and then over to this area then they've got like Reese and stuff which I'll be showing you in a moment actually no All Saints may be first All Saints really like this shirt that was up here um really nice like weird material but nice um so yeah, that's how much that was. And then back over to Reese, I think. And that was on the mannequin, actually. Um, yeah, so Reese over here, typical Reese kind of stuff. This weird knitted, like very much knitted, like, what is it? Kind of knitted 
shirt kind of thing and then this is very reese this so that was cribs causeway um as i said i've never been there before two shops is lacking in terms of would make it the perfect place are a zara and a primark those two are the ones that are lacking and as you would have seen the h&m there is like i feel like it's a decent size but the men's section was up up like a floor above the upper floor shopping centre bit and it was very small like smaller than the one in my hometown um and this shopping centre is meant to be like a you know big out of town re out of town place um as in like lakeside blue water trafford centre metro centre meadow hall kind of styly on a small a bit of a smaller scale um because it is in bristol bristol is not well, it's a big place i've never actually been to bristol center um and i know that's got a huge primark but um yeah those are the two stores major stores it's lacking it's obviously lacking like arca and things like that but they're not everywhere um so yes um let me know down below if you've been to cribs course i would love to know um but yeah i'm gonna go into the little hall now you would have seen i went in the gromit unleashed unleashed store which is basically Back it, I don't know when it was, but a few years ago, um, there was these big, like, grommet, as in Wallace and Gromit, figurines, I think, either around Bristol or places around Bristol. And they've got a few in this, like, exhibition kind of place that's got a shop as well. There was a van or something. Um, and I went in there. I am a big, back in the day when I was little, I loved Wallace and Gromit. Sean the Sheep was my favourite thing. And I picked up a few things in there because why not? I knew it was there. I didn't know what it was going to be like, though, in terms of was it just going to have those grommets on and things. I would say it's not got the best selection. Like, there's, there's not many cuddly toys or anything like that. Um, and this is the bag you get. I mean, it's the blue as in the same of the shop. But literally nothing else, really. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I got, well, when you go in, like, there's the Sean section to your right, and I picked up this book, which is Where, Where's Sean, which is basically, like, like, Where's Wally slash Where's Waldo, which I picked up for my niece and nephew, um, niece and nep, niece, nephews and nieces, um, and I think it might stay at my mum and dad's because it only had one in the shop. Um, which is such a bummer, it was kind of down below, and I thought, I would really like more than one, um, one for, to keep her, like, for my brother's children, and one for my sister's child, but they only had one, so I might have a look online, and I asked at the till, and this was the only one in the shop, and said, this is the last one, this was $7.99, so it's pretty pricey, my niece loves Sean the Sheep when we were away, I went away with my brother-in-law sister and niece to Cornwall and we were watching Sean the Sheep she likes that they took that as a DVD because the internet wasn't very good for like Netflix or anything so yeah that was $7.99 and then picked up two things for me one was this fridge magnet or just a magnet in general um this was $2.95 I mean the selection of stuff wasn't great in there they did have some really nice prints of the original um, Wallace and Gromit, like, short film kind of things. Like, what's the first one called? When they go to the moon, the cheese one, I can't remember. Like, wrong trousers, close shave. Close shave was obviously my favourite because it had Sean in it. Um, and then I also got a pen, which has got the penguin on, from the wrong trousers. It just says Gromit Unleashed on the side. And this was £1.50 for this. So, yeah. Really, £12.64 it cost me because I had to pay 20p for a bag. But, yeah, they have got quite a few things in there. Not the best stuff. I would have done, like, a little come shop with me around that. But not the best stuff. Other stores in Cribs Course where they've got, like, they've got a H Beauty, which is only, I think, five in the UK, isn't there? Because there's Lakeside, Milton Keynes, Cribs Causeway, Edinburgh and Metro Centre. So... And that's quite a good distribution over the UK, maybe they open more of those. John Lewis was really good, it was like a really big John Lewis. Um, and I didn't go in the m and so I don't know how big that was. And H&M, as I said, was disappointing. Next was quite big though, and it had a Ted Baker Kids next to Next, which I completely forgot Ted, ba like Ted Baker Kids is owned by Next. Like Next owns everything basically these days, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I completely forgot that was there. So yeah, there we go. That was my first 
my ever time at Cribs Causeway. Let me know down below if you've ever been. I feel like I'm getting a cold because I can't talk properly, um, which is not good. But yeah, let me know if you've been there before down below um, and let me know like what your local big shopping centre is. Do you live like near Meadow Hall? Do you live near Trafford Centre? Do you live near Lakeside? I really want to go to Lakeside soon because they've just opened a gap in the next there so it'd be good to see what that's like although i've been to the gap recently haven't i on oxford street but anyway let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching if you're not ready please take a moment to subscribe and ring my bell down below to be notified of when i upload if you like a come shop with me video we normally do vista village um primark zara and h&m once a month i had got a proper h&m one coming next which will be on wednesday so subscribe for that that will be my next video so definitely take note of that and um I do hauls from those places if I buy anything, as well as other come shop with me's, like the ones today, for example, and also grocery hauls, too good to go bags, stuff like that. So if that's your jam, then definitely make sure you subscribe. It's free, no cost to you. And also follow my Instagrams, which are always linked down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.